Good evening. Campbell Newman is planning to flood nightclub precincts with police and force tougher laws to stop alcohol fueled violence. The Premier says he doesn't want to cut pub trading hours but will listen to the opinions of Queenslanders. Another Saturday night, more violence on the streets. This was Sydney last night, a snapshot of a huge national problem that the Queensland Premier is planning to fix in the Sunshine State. A policy of zero tolerance of misbehaviour and violence, or if you like consequences policing, where we target the real troublemakers. That's Campbell Newman's personal preference. More police, tougher penalties, instead of forcing pubs to close at 3am. I have no wish to see the many punished for the sins of the few. But he says he wants feedback, particularly from the state's youth. Which way do you want to go? Because I know that whichever way we go, the government will be criticised. It already is. Dr Anthony Lynham fixes the faces of those bashed on our streets. I can't say I'm against it because anything is good, but I know it just won't work. Before they throw that punch, they're not concerned about whether I'm going to go to jail, they're not concerned, they don't even think, they're drunk, they're drunk. The Premier's preference goes against the recommendations of the government's own expert panel. It wanted trading hours wound back to 3am. And it even contained pub and club owners. It's hardly draconian. It's two hours, two measly hours. And I know by two hours less that I'll probably have a third less work at a Monday morning at the Royal Brisbane. And if we're going to go and do this, I need the community behind me. I mean, we have to do something. The Premier says his mind should be made up in a couple of months. Michael Best, Nine News.